Mr. Manser, it's a pleasure to make you. My God. I know, I couldn't believe it myself. An explosion, right in the middle of Ophelia. The roof collapsed. We're still tallying the bodies. A roar of bastards? How could they do such a thing? They have no regard for human life. I've been jumpy since the attack. Caught my son the other day. Crying. Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the one. Can I ask what corporation you're from? You can ask, but you may be disappointed by the answer. None. My parents were traveling merchants like me. The road is my home. Always has been. Not to take anything away from your corporation. It's technical miracles, beautiful city, and all the rest. But I don't think I could ever settle down. There is freedom in having no ties. So how does it all work? You merchants trade with each other too, or...? Our lives would be impossible otherwise. The travel required to collect the vast array of goods we purvey would be impractical, to say the least. For instance, a fellow merchant is traveling to your hydroponic farms as we speak, and is gathering goods that he will swap with me to bring back to Alliance's territory. And there, there are other merchants who trade goods with me from territories even further away. And on and on and on. We would be at a loss without each other. So, we stick together. A big family, in a way. Rumor is you merchants have a secret city hidden somewhere. Ah, yes. The cave we open with the utterance of a magic word to protect our troves of treasures. <laughs> a tale, Mr. Manser, nothing more. We are merchants. What goods we have, we sell. To buy more goods which we sell, and so forth and so on. There is no secret in our ways. Or treasures hidden in faraway caves. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Hey, Ryan. Merchant just delivered this for you. Said he's got more merch you may be interested in, too. Oh, good. Bastard finally showed up. Damn foreigners. 
Good thing they're better at making deals than they are at mining their clocks or calendars. Hey there. Officer, hello. What can I do for the fine officer today? Check out my merchandise. I have everything you'd ever need for hunting. Hey there. Just came by to let you know Fiorello's back in the exchange, and he's got your merchandise. Now that is some very good news. Thank you. I'll send my assistant right away. Chief. Mara? You want Mara? What are you... Fuck. Fuck it. Ain't my fight. You'll find her there if you want to find her. Hope she gives you what you're looking for. You, Mara? Yeah. What's it to you, dick? Hmm, charming. I helped the young lady escape from a warehouse where she was being tortured. She can't even remember her own name. Wow. 
You're a hero. Thanks for the story. She was one of yours. You found Talia? If you found her, fuck. This would be the first damn time I'd ever owe any guy anything. You bring her here, whether she remembers herself or us or not, if it's her, she's one of us. Family. So yeah, we'll take care of her. And the assholes who fucked with her too. Just glad to finally find her a home. There's a merchant in the exchange quarter. Name's Fiorello. He's been taking care of her. Send someone to get her. Tell him I sent you. And what's your name? To tell him? Zachariah Manser. A good name. One I won't forget. We don't have many friends with dicks around here, but I'd like to consider you one. Thanks for bringing our sister back home. Bye, Mara. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the one, the only, Zachariah Manser. A pleasure as always. What brings you here this fine day? I found out where the girl's from. That is great, great news. Not for her, unfortunately. Turns out she was part of a female gang trying to come together as a rival to Anton Rogue's outfit. Fight barely lasted a round, but... <sighs> Clearly it annoyed Anton enough to have one of them kidnapped and tortured to send a message. So what happens to her now? They're sending her back to her friends. One of the girls will probably come get her. What's the point of trying to hold her accountable for things she doesn't even remember? And she's already suffered enough. You surprise me, officer. Open-minded, compassionate. A rare breed in your field of work. Sad to think she will just return to the streets. But what's to be done? Here, take this, for all your trouble. I hate to risk exploiting your kindness, but if I may. Go on. Since our little misadventure the other day, I'm always looking over my shoulder, feeling that those mob types are breathing down my neck, fearing I'm less protected than I ought to be. Then you want bodyguards. In a sense. But understanding that no ordinary citizen of abundance would suffice, and that such a task for you would be an insult, 
I was thinking that perhaps a strong mutant might do the trick. Word goes around that one might be able to make such an acquisition from the mutant pen in the slums. If you might make the trip for me, I could compensate you for the price of both the mutant and your time. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Again, thank you. I found your clients. I told them you had their merch. They'll come pick it up as soon as they can. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, take this. As a token of my appreciation, it is not much for all you've done for me, but it's something. Shoot him! Help me, please! Help me! Shh. Hey, you! Soldier boy! That's right! Listen up, or I kill this guy! What? No! No! Shut up and listen! Don't talk! This little shit's brother ruined me, okay? He lured me in and got me up to my eyes in debt! So, you find him and tell him if he wants to see his brother again. He forgets what I owe him! You really think threatening an innocent man's the way to go? Or maybe you think it's gonna make things worse for you? Calm down, maybe I can help you. So... What are you gonna do? Protect me and my family? Sure, we can keep you all safe. That a promise? It's a promise. If you lower your weapon. Alright. I'm putting it down. Just... Lock me up and keep your promise. Everything okay? I'm... yes. Uh, yes, I'm... shaken, but... All right. Thank you so deeply, officer. Thank you. How? Why? 
I'm still shaking. Must have been those Aurora bastards. There, new blood. That's what I'm talking about. Hello there. Ready for a fight? A challenge? Tell me more about the challenges. Sure, sure. Each round's got three challenges. This round remains on home turf. Who or what? You can fight other guys. Hey there, you in charge of the mutant pen? Named Zachariah Manser, Ophir officer. Hey, yeah. Pen's my responsibility. Sure. Dan Stewart, what can I do for you? I've got a proposal for you. What is it? I've got an acquaintance who's looking for a large mutant who can be his bodyguard. He promises he'll be well treated. No, no. Chief will never let him go work elsewhere. And he can't risk getting beaten up by the guards. The man should find himself another mutant. He must go back to work now. Hey there, got a question for you. How'd you like to leave the pen? Go work somewhere nicer. Leave the pen? He is sorry, but this man must be joking. He knows what happens to any trying to leave. They get shot, killed. The boss man will never let him leave. 
Only way out is for him to rebel, but he's too scared. So if the man would excuse him, he must go back to work. Now. Hello. I have a proposal for you. A merchant is looking for a bodyguard, and you look strong. He said that he would feed you if you protected him. Big strong! Big very strong! And big always hungry! <laughs> um... If I understand, your name is Beg? Yes! Beg is his name! Him wants good food and can protect man! But Chief Man not let Beg leave! <laughs> you mean the pen supervisor? Don't worry, I'll go talk to him. Oh, great. You're back. What do you want? I'd like to buy the mutant who calls himself Beg. Big Beg? Yeah, no, that ain't gonna happen. Losing him be like losing the work of four other mutants. Nah, he's too strong to lose. You weren't wrong. The supervisor doesn't want you to leave. Looks like he enjoys your strength too much. What if you refuse to work here, or initiate an incident so that he decides not to keep you? Beg not understand what men want. Hmm. If you want to go with the merchant who will feed you, you must refuse to work here. Make some noise, you see? <laughs> yes! Beg understand! Beg, make noise and refuse work! <laughs> I wonder if he realizes the consequences of what he's about to do. Better be ready to step in before something bad happens to him. What's he doing? Why is he making trouble? He'll still have to work. Beg no work more! No work more! If he doesn't stop, he'll get beaten real bad. <laughs> no! Let them beat Beg! No work more! <laughs> then he gets what he asked for. I need to step in. Hey, hey, what's going on here? You lost your minds? Break it up, you fucking parasites! Going after a human? Hell you thinking? And you? Why the hell are you back here messing up the pen? Come on, go! Get out! Look, I'm not trying to cause problems, but I already told you. I'm really interested in getting this slave. And since the others were just about to kill him... They weren't gonna kill him. Maybe beat the shit out of him as a lesson. Like I'm gonna do to you if you don't get out and stay out. Hey, hey, just listen a second. This mutant's obviously showing a little rebellious streak. Leave him here. That streak might spread to the others, you know? Then what do you have? Plus, he refuses to work, so what good is he to you? Give him to me, and I'll make sure he gets back on track. Fuck. Last fucking thing I need's a rebellion. Damn waste is what he is. That brawn. Fine, take him. Let him be your burden. Then we have a deal. Think you could take him to a merchant in the exchange quarter for me? Name's Fiorello. Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Cause I'm a fucking delivery service. Once I drop him off, though, I don't want to see you or hear another damn thing about him. He's your problem now, yeah? Fair enough. Have a good one.
Make the slightest move, you're a dead man. Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the one, the only, Zachariah Manser. A pleasure as always. What brings you here this fine day? I see they got you the mutant. Yes, yes, a wonderful specimen. Words and all. Bag! Mutant! Call! Bag! Beautiful! Yes, Bag! And his sheer size. Like he was simply built to dissuade any ill-intentioned folks from bothering us. Here, here, take this. To compensate you for all you've done. And feel free any time to request any favor in return. Man! Nice man! Help, Beg! Please? Beg soon leave with Master Merchant. Beg need help. Man lightning. I... I guess that I can bring the stone. Yes. It's a very nice drawing that you made. Yes! Man lightning, nice! Give Master to Beg. Beg have memory for Mother. Make himself. You go give memory to Mother Beg? Uh, is it me you're calling Man lightning? Man nice! Man very nice! Where are you from, Beg? Have you worked in the pen for a long time? <laughs> Beg, not no. Several, many nights? Hmm. It's not gonna be easy to get anything from him. Goodbye, Beg. Goodbye! Sorry if this is out of line, Lieutenant, but why the hell are we helping a mutant? Seems like a waste of time. Something that the captain might not. Because I said so. It won't take long. Hi, you Jenny Labor? Yeah, that's me. What can I do for you? Nothing for me. A mutant named Beg sent me to give you something. A souvenir, or... I don't know. It's just a stone that he drew on. Beg 
Thank you. Oh, my dear little... Hey there! Have all the bigwigs gone crazy? That poor woman has resorted to eating a stone just to get away from the ASC. This is completely insane. What are we gonna tell the mutant? We're gonna tell him his mother's dead. Unless you got a better idea. Hello, Beg. Oh, hello! Man, have orders for Beg? I... I'm sorry, Beg. I gave your stone to your mother, but she died. I... I believe that she committed suicide because the police were about to arrest her. She put the stone in her mouth and died. Mother... Mother dead? No! Uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't think that she would do such a thing. Hello, Beg. Oh, hello! Man, have orders for Beg? Goodbye, Beg. Goodbye! Officer? You! Officer! Could I ask you a favor? Officer Zachariah Manser, a sight for sore eyes. Our hero, brave and strong. 
I like where this is going. <laughs> well, you know, you were just so nice, and if you wanted, if you had time, I know you're probably busy, but if you did... What? I'm just glad you came to see me. I was just thinking about you. Feel like you're maybe the only guy who could help me. Why? What's going on? I just don't have a lot of friends in Ophir. Never really had time for them, but one of the few I have, Abby Goodsman, owns a stall. She's a great girl. Lately, though, she's been scared for her life. Soldiers have been trying to extort her for serum. They tore down her stall and threatened all sorts of horrible things when she wouldn't pay. As an officer, I was hoping you could find out who these wicked men are and figure out why they're messing with a good girl like Abby. Please, I'm really terrified for her. If you're positive they're soldiers, that's weird. Yeah, I'll look into it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I knew you were a good guy. You're not really like everyone else, are you? What do you mean? Anyone ever tell you how beautiful you are? Yeah, all the time. Why? Can I ask how you ended up becoming an artist? That's a long story, officer. Not the happy kind. Don't want to depress you. I got all night. All right. Okay. You asked for it. I got left alone when I was young. Parents died, so I was forced out on the streets. One of a thousand orphans like me. Did a lot of stuff I wasn't proud of, but had to to get by, you know? Then I got lucky, and the center took me in. Gave me food and clothes and an education and hope and a purpose once they taught me music, and confidence once they told me I was talented. So, when I was old enough to leave the orphanage, I got lucky and met some other musicians who gave me a lot of help. Ended up performing in some bars around the slums. Not glamorous, but I got lucky, and it got me here. So, maybe the story's not so sad after all. I gotta go. All right. Well, maybe I'll see you again soon. Be careful. Would hate to lose a guy like you around here. You Abby Goodsman? Yes, I... By the shadow, please don't tell me that man sent you. No, your friend Nisha, the artist, sent me. Said she thought you were in trouble, and it looks like she was right. I... Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They're ruining my life. I'm being threatened by soldiers who tore down my shop. Why? Because they wanted serum I don't even have. And if I didn't give it to them, they said they'd denounce me. For what? I never did anything bad. Yeah, I believe you. You sure they were real soldiers, though? Could have been mobsters in disguise. All I know is their uniforms sure looked real, and their chief told me to call him Sam Ward. He's sick. You hear me? Sick. A brutal... Please help me. The threats keep coming, and I'm telling you, they're gonna kill me. I know it. It's all right. Everything will be okay. I'm gonna look for this Sam Ward. Talk to him. Talk to my captain about him, too. I'll get it worked out. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much.
You the one that's been threatening Abby Goodsman? <laughs> really? What? That bitch complained to the great magicians? Great. Perfect. You know what she's up to? She's anti-regime, and she's plotting against abundance. True fucking story. Your little friend's a traitor, Manzer. Too bad your powers don't include lie detection, huh? <laughs> so, who cares? We put a little pressure on her, milk her a little bit before the ASC catches her. So what? She deserves it. All she needed to do was be loyal to the damn corporation that raised her. Watch your back. If someone heard about you being friendly with some of the oppositionists like that girl, let's just say it will end well. Lieutenant, I'm a little busy planning our next mission. Come back in a bit. Of course, Captain. Listen, before you left, I got a little message from your great master, as you call him. He's looking for you. How about when you find him, you tell him you don't answer to him anymore? I get that his rank makes it hard to say no to him, Lieutenant. But I'd prefer if he kept his hands off my soldiers. Of course, Captain. Master Connor isn't in the chapel. The great man. Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I'm looking for Master Connor. Any idea where I can find him? He headed down to the Underworks. Needed to get some supplies from our warehouses. If you're going there, take the elevator near the barracks. Opens up close to the warehouses and will save you some time. It's a real maze down there. Thanks for the tip. I wanted to talk to you about something. What about? We're looking for a scientist who disappeared. Name's Charles Seeker. All I found is some of his research. Seems he was studying technomancers before getting arrested and sent to a camp. Charles Seeker? Yes, the geneticist. Geneticists pose a risk. Scientific discoveries are always threatening to expose our secrets. Your friend Scott even worked on the same research years ago. Never found out what Scott did or didn't discover, though. He ended up drinking himself into irrelevance. So I stopped worrying. Whatever research you found, make sure no one sees it. Could be our downfall. I finally managed to meet the merchants you told me about. It wasn't easy. The mob kidnapped them for serum. I freed them before talking to them. I'm sure gratitude helped to loosen their lips. So what knowledge was gleaned from such lengths? Word that Aurora is running large-scale excavations along the shadow paths near our territory, and in the process uncovering important objects, maybe even a relic. Fascinating. Finds that are no doubt better off in our hands than those of Aurora's technomancers. Keep those merchants close, Zachariah. Information like that is such a priceless commodity. You are no more free to roam than the rest of us. 
Of that I have no doubt. But if you find yourself with access to a rover and perhaps find a way to that excavation site and locate the relic, well, you cannot know the value it might hold if brought back to us. It may seem petty. It's a mission for some rusty relic that may or may not even exist. However, if you are able to slip away from Ophir... Zack, good to see you. How does army life suit you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you? When's your next deployment? I do not know, but what I do know is this. They're going to be sending me to the front lines alongside all the others. That I'm certain. I want to make sure that none of us become close. No matter. You're not here to listen to my belly aches. My mission is to chase deserters and put an end to their life so that the scandal doesn't affect the army. A difficult mission, especially from a moral standpoint. Are you okay? Yes, it's raised some questions. It goes against what you've always taught me. The value of human life, that means nothing against the army's reputation. Well, it must have been a hard choice to make. We are at war, and alas, the simple fact justifies extremes. Whereas in the end, it is only politics. I am sorry, Zack. I hope that your next missions will be less difficult. I don't want you to become as jaded as I am. I've tracked down one of the opposition leaders. One of them was a female terrorist planning an attack. But you had doubts as to the threat she represented, am I right? She presented me her arguments. She didn't fit the profile of a fanatic ready to blow up Ophir as I had been told. She was just an idealist, dreaming about giving abundance its past generosity back. Everyone will tell you that idealists are the worst because they raise issues that we sometimes don't want to address. Everything that makes one think of the risk, Zack. There isn't anything new to report. Goodbye, Sean. Goodbye, Zack. Be careful. Lieutenant Zachariah Manser. What a pleasure. Um, uh, hello, sir. I don't think I've had the honor of meeting you before. Ah, of course. I'm Colonel Victor Watcher of the ASC. Colonel! At ease, Lieutenant, at ease. Simply came to congratulate you and learned that you've become a technomancer of the highest degree. For a young man from the Rogue family, that's a terrific achievement. Thank you. No, no, thank you. Your road must have been difficult, but you persevered. An outsider who managed to work his way into the ranks of the elite Technomancers. A marvelous story, especially given their secrecy. They've always fascinated me. Do you have any insight as to why they chose to be so insular? I'm sorry, Colonel, but I don't know what you mean. What a shame. By coming to you out of friendship and camaraderie, I was hoping that you wouldn't treat me like an outsider, too. All right, then. Back to your duties. But think about what I asked, and we'll see each other again. Already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? Captain, can I get some intel on a couple citizens? As long as it's mission related, Lieutenant. The name is Abby Goodsman. Give me a sec. She's a trader with a small shop in the exchange quarter. No arrests, no complaints, no bookmark by the ASC. You said this was mission related, Lieutenant? Of course, Captain. Just following up on some leads. What do you know about a soldier named Sam Ward? Not a lot. The little I know is nothing good. Mostly about the company he keeps. Like Vori. 
Not enough to arrest him, but enough to be glad he's not one of my problems. Word to the wise, which I hope you are. Stay away from him unless you're looking for the kind of trouble you can't dig your way out of. Of course, Captain. Despite the attack, the officials reached the source. Good work, Lieutenant. All safe and sound at the camp as promised, Captain. You're already making yourself one hell of an asset, Lieutenant. No doubt those officials owe you their lives. You sure as hell earned your pay. Go see the Quartermaster to get it. Our response to the attack can't be passive. We strike fast, we strike hard, and we strike now. ASC discovered that they got in through the Underworks, through tunnels connected to their shadow paths. So that's where we're gonna hit them. Get a rover and Amelia Reacher to drive you there. And wipe the Aurora shits off the face of Mars and destroy their damn tunnels. Failure's not an option. This is a mission of pride for this army, not just for abundance. They struck us in our home. For that, we'll annihilate them. Don't let us down, Lieutenant. During their assassination plot, Aurora's diversion attempts destroyed some of our city's roofs, forcing us to evacuate blocks of citizens to protect them from the sun. We need the repairs done, and done quickly. But instead of working on the repairs where they're damn well needed, the fucking mutants have now chosen to revolt. Put an end to it, Lieutenant. Get them back to work so our city can get back to living. Will do, Captain. Before you go, Lieutenant, I want you to know, your professor, Captain Sean Manser, is leaving the city for the front. I want to go say goodbye. Thank you, Captain. Appreciate it. Captain, report. Go ahead, Lieutenant. The insurgency's been quelled. What about this pain in my ass, Bulgakov? Let me start with the good news. We stopped Bulgakov at the station before they set off their explosives. Bad news? She slipped away before we could grab her. Starting with the good news doesn't make it any less of a failure, Lieutenant. The ASC's gonna try to rip us a new asshole over this, but the fact that they said Bulgakov was a man and not a woman might give us a bit of ammo to fire back with. I'm still pissed, but there's no telling how many lives you saved today. So go find Quartermaster Ryan and collect your pay. Let's keep the fuck-ups to a minimum, though, going forward. Only so many times I'll be able to cover your ass with the ASC. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Captain Eliza told me to come find you for my pay. Indeed, I've been expecting you. Here you go. visit to that pretty Abby girl. Yeah. Chick didn't learn her lesson after we tore down her shop. Maybe we could teach her a lesson in some other ways. <laughs> sick. You're sick. But it's a sick I wouldn't mind catching, yeah? Why not, damn pretty girl? I'll grab Chris and we'll make it a party. Nice. Sounds good. I think... Sh sh shut up. I hear something. All right. Pretty simple. Just gotta stop the soldier so he can't make good on his threats. What? You know something? It's assholes like them. Hey, stop it! Soldiers, cut it out! Who the hell do you think you are? Trying to give me orders, Mancer? I don't report to you, and you don't have a damn clue what's going on here. We'll take what we're owed from the broad and leave it for dead if we want. We clear? Or did we misunderstand and you just want to join us in the beatdown? Ah! <laughs> 
Aloy, thank you for... for everything you've done for me. I don't... If there is anything, anything I can ever do for you, please tell me. Thank you. Hey, Nisha. Well, well, day's looking up already. I took care of your friend's problem. The soldiers won't be bothering Abby anymore. It's a promise. Thank you. That's really nice of you to help two ladies needing a hand. You're a real sweetheart. Really hope I can repay you in the future. I'll never forget what you did. I gotta go. All right. Well, maybe I'll see you again soon. Be careful. Would hate to lose a guy like you around here.